Hi everyone. Happy friendship day. No, it's not me wishing you a happy friendship day. It's just me echoing the words that seem to be bouncing around across all social media platforms. And my first thought when I saw those words is, you know, how many of them, how many of the people who are saying happy friendship day are actually thinking about what makes a great friendship? What are the stages in a friendship and how do you sustain a great friendship? And the thought that immediately came on its heels was, what does it matter if they don't? Nothing is stopping me from doing it. And hence this video. And so I looked at all the wonderful friendships that I have in my life and all the acquaintances that did not quite make the grade. When I look back, I see some patterns and I thought I would share them with you. I thought maybe that might help you look at the friendships that you have in your life and look at the friendships that you would like to build in your life. We have a lot of people who are just, you know, in the high hello bye category, right? We meet people at our uh, gyms, we meet people in coffee shops, we meet people at work, we meet people in many different places. But that is at an acquaintance level. So at what stage does this acquaintance come to this level which is a friendship? And I think there's always a stage at which you suddenly find yourself saying to this person, um, could I speak with you for a moment? So the very first thing that we do when we want to test whether someone is worthy of, uh, you know, uh, building a friendship is self-disclosure. We say something about our lives. And I think that sometimes it is more of a test because friendship has to be give and take. And it's not the give and take that you are thinking about. I'm talking about a slightly different give and take. When we do this self-disclosure, we are actually doing a little test. We are opening a little window into our life. And this little window we are opening and then we are looking at this person and then seeing whether they would in return reciprocate and open a little window into their lives. So the second stage is reciprocity. Imagine this, if you are going to be talking to someone about this boss from hell and that person is just looking at you and listening and going, mm, oh, that's hard. And that's it. And they don't go beyond that. They don't offer support or console you or they don't even open a window and share a similar experience they've had. Imagine doing this same thing the next day. I don't think this acquaintance is going to graduate to being a friend, right? Well, that's how it is for me. And the third thing that I have noticed in all the beautifully strong friendships that I have is that all these friends seem to have an instinctive ability to know what to say what their emotional response should be. When I share something with them, I don't always get the same response because they know when to say, oh, that's hard. You must be going through a hard time. Or say, oh my God, how horrid is that? How could it be so terrible? You know, get all outraged along with me. And then they know when to say, hang on a minute. Do you think you're overreacting? And they also know when to give me a big tight hug and say, Let's go have some ice cream. So they seem to have this instinctive ability to know what to say. And that's the true magic of friendship. A friend is someone who is with you through thick and thin. But another very clear indicator of whether that friendship will last is that friend who is with you through thick and thin doesn't cross the line. Because if my friend had a very strong vocal opinion about everything in my life, and made sure that I heard it, be it the kind of footwear I wore or the friends I kept company with or the workouts I did or the life choices I made. If they are going to be extremely vocal about it all the time, I don't think I'm going to be able to be friends with that person for a very long time. I don't know about you. A good friend knows what to say, when to say it, and more importantly, how to say it. We just need to ask ourselves two questions. One, who are the good friends in my life? And two, am I a good friend? So if you choose to celebrate the friendships in your life, as you should, and you choose to do it on a particular day, as you could, I would strongly urge you to not stop with just a happy friendship day wish. Because if friendship were a plant, then the time you spend on it is like sunlight and loyalty, trust and support is like water. So I leave you with this thought. Has your plant of friendship received the sunlight and water that it needs to survive and flourish. Think about it. Keep your life sunny side up.